Welcome back, friends. It is so good to see you. Our first week of school is underway, and it is a great time to continue learning about building a classroom community. This week, we are going to be reading a book called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. This is a fiction book about a little girl named Molly and how she learns to stand tall, be confident, and know that she is loved. So friends, we're going to read along as Molly travels to a new town, moves to a new town and a new school and see what happens to her there. Then we're going to review our story elements and compose a summary together from our story. So without further ado, let's look at Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. That is the title of our story. Will you point to the title? Yes, there it is. We'll need to remember that title when we do our story map later. And the author's name is usually on the bottom of the book. Can you point to the bottom where the author's name is? There, it says written by Patty Lovell. Written by means that she's the author. She wrote the words, Patty did, and it's illustrated by David Cattrall. So he is the one who wrote, I mean, who drew these beautiful pictures of Molly. All right, here we go. Stand tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Molly Lou Mellon was, oh, sorry. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. So buck teeth are teeth that stick out she didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Look at her big sweet smile. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog. Her voice sounded like a bullfrog when she sang. Oh, not just a bullfrog, a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. But she didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Look at her singing, friends. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. That's a funny word there, fumble-fingered. When you're fumble-fingered, it means that you drop things really easily. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. So she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. How do you think that made her feel? Let's see. Oh, she looks sad. She had to move and start in a new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. Oh no friends, that was not kind. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. So Molly didn't let his bullying stop her. She kept playing. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Oh, that is so mean, friends. That is not kind. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked 10 high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. That was not kind, friends. Oh, no. He is being a bully. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack, 
crack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong, but Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. Look, Ronald Durkin is being kind. He was being unkind at first. And he saw Molly Lou Mellon's confidence and he decided to be kind. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. And there's her grandma reading the letter. All right, friends, thank you for reading this story. Stand tall, Molly Lou Mellon, with me. Now we're going to look at our story map. And today we're just going to do the first four, a title, author, setting, and characters of our story. I have a little song to help us remember what those four things are. So it goes like this. Okay. The title is what the book is called. The author wrote the words. The characters are people and animals. And the setting is the time and place in which it occurred. All right, let's sing it again. The title is what the book is called the author wrote the words the characters are people or animals and the setting is the time and place in which it occurred all right so let's use that song to help us find the title author setting and characters of our story so the title is what the book is called what's the book called Stand Tall Molly Lou Mellon. That's our title. Okay. The author wrote the words. Where's her name? Patty Lovell. There it is. The characters are people and animals. So people or animals. Who's the main character in our story? The main person we read about. That's right. Molly Lou Mellon. She's our main character. Who else do we read about? Do you remember the name of the bully in our story? He was not being very nice. Do you remember his name? Ronald Durkin. That's right. But by the end of the story, they become friends. Then we have one more main character at the very end who gives Molly Lou Mellon the advice. That's Molly's grandma. Okay. So we've done title, author, and characters, and the setting is the time or place in which it occurred. All right, so where does most of the story happen? Let's see, where are the kids at? Do you remember? Where are they at? They're at school. All right, friends. Now we're going to summarize our story, so we'll be able to use this summary next time to finish our story map. Okay, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Let's see if we can compose this summary together. Oh, we've got some pieces missing from our summary. The first sentence says, blank, told Molly Lou Mellon to be herself. Do you remember who gave Molly Lou Mellon advice? Who told her? Okay, it was her grandma that's right so molly's grandma told molly lou mellon to be herself molly moved to a new town and what did she move to a new hmm a new swimming pool or a new school <gasps> a new school yes molly moved to a new town and a new school Blank bullied Molly. He was unkind. Do you remember what the name of the boy was who was unkind? Yes, Ronald Durkin. Ronald Durkin bullied Molly. He was unkind. 
But after seeing Molly's confidence, Ronald, in the end, was kind to who? Who's our story about? Yes, Molly Lou Mellon. Friends, thank you so much for joining me for this lesson. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.